My name is Eileen Berlin. I'm the English and Reading Supervisor for Fauquier County Public Schools, and it's my pleasure this morning to be the spelling bee uh, pronouncer. Uh, John Lucas from Taylor Middle School is our uh, division wide uh, spelling bee coordinator. You will hear more from him in a minute after we get the students uh, organized. Just a little uh, background of what our expectations are for this morning. First of all, I would like everyone to join me in silencing cell phones. You don't have to necessarily turn them all off, but you can turn off the sound, because I know some of you want to use your phone to take your pictures. What we're going to do after we have all of the students organized, our first round, the students will come up and each speller will say and spell his or her name. That gives them a chance to get familiar with the mic and just the logistics of, of participating in the beef so that hopefully that calms some, some nerves. While the, the, your, your own child is uh, spelling his name at the microphone, you are welcome to take a flash picture then. If you want a picture of your child at the microphone and you need flash, do it then. And please, you may take other pictures, but no more flash after that. We don't want any flash uh, or any technology sounds to interrupt what our students do because we want everybody to have uh, a fair chance at, at hearing me uh, and at, at allowing us to hear the spellers. So if you would cooperate with that, we appreciate that very much. Um, just a little bit of information about what's going to happen. Uh, over here you see Lewis McDonald. He is our Director of Technology and we want to thank him this morning. He's going to be recording the B, uh, and this will be uh, put up on the School Division's YouTube channel. Uh, Mr. McDonald pulled some interesting statistics for me about our spelling bee and the number of views that it has. Uh, last year's B had 5,431 views. Uh, and people from not just Fauquier County are viewing this, but uh, we can look at other statistics. Uh, we have 3,000 people from the United States, 3,111 people from the United States who have viewed our B. The next country that's viewed our B the most, believe it or not, is India. Uh, 195 folks from India have viewed the B. Uh, and it includes countries from all over the world uh, and states from all over uh, the nation. Curiously, the state uh, that has the most views, California, has more views of our spelling bee than our own state of Virginia, uh, the Fauquier County folks. So uh, when, when uh, Mr. McDonald pulled that data, I thought you would find that interesting. I know I certainly did. Um, we will be uh, having the students come up in the order that, um, that they were assigned. Mr. Lucas does a random drawing, so it's not by grade, it's not by who showed up first to register this morning. There's a, a random poll uh, so that all the children have um, a fair shot at the worst. There's a certain amount of luck, I guess, that it occurs in the bee because we don't know which words you're going to get. And uh, to clarify the source of the words, because I uh, frequently ask that, the difference between a spelling bee and a spelling test is on a spelling test, you're given words usually at the beginning of the week and you know exactly what words you're going to be quizzed on. The students know how to study for the words, and some of the words from the school level B will be um, on today's B, but most of these words, the students don't know uh, what's going to be there. They are words that are chosen by the National Scripps Howard uh, Spelling Bee uh, Organization. They're sent out to the division coordinators, and I have them here in my folder, so the students don't know in advance what words they're going to get. Uh, and the randomness of the drawing helps to, uh, again, level the playing field. Um, I would like to recognize the uh, principals and the uh, school level B coordinators who are here today. Many of them are in the audience. Would you stand up, please, if you are a principal, assistant principal, or uh, a local spelling bee coordinator?
you all so much for your support of the bee. This is one of those uh, activities where it really takes a village. There's a lot of things that happen that go on behind the scenes in order to make today possible. Uh, and we are very appreciative of everyone's uh, efforts in that, in that uh, regard. We especially want to thank uh, Mrs. Ruth Nelson, who is the principal here at Taylor Middle School, for getting here early this morning, opening the doors, and uh, her willingness to uh, sponsor uh, and support the bee by allowing us to be here. Um, our judges today are Dr. David Jack, uh, who, of course, is superintendent of our school system. Uh, we have with us Mrs. Donna Grove from the school board. She represents Senior Run. Uh, and we have Dr. Sandra Mitchell, who is our associate superintendent for instruction. So we have three able judges. Uh, the decision of the judges is uh, final. Uh, but there is an appeals process. Each of you I know, uh, each family has received a copy of the spelling bee rules when you entered today, so I'm not going to belabor those points. Um, they will ring a bell if the word is misspelled, uh, and then I will give you the correct uh, spelling. But before we uh, begin with the first round, I'd like to introduce Mr. John Lucas, our spelling bee. Um, Division Coordinator, who will review the end of the rules. Uh, very quickly, for the end of the rules, uh, we get down to the last two or three spellers, things do change a little bit. If a speller misses a word, they're not necessarily out altogether when we get down to two or three spellers. What happens is the speller that eventually is our champion has to spell one more correct word or spell one more round more, um, than the other spellers. So let's say we had three spellers that were left in a round. Two of the spellers spelled incorrectly and would be out. One speller spelled correctly. We'd still have to have one more round for the anticipated championship work. If the speller that spelled correctly misses the word in the anticipated championship round, all three spellers come back into the next round. So they will get that other chance. Now, if the speller spells correctly at that point, then they would be a champion because they've spelled two more words correctly than the other one. If you have something that you question, appeals process, and you are the coordinator for the school that the student is at, or you are the student's parent. You may come up, if you have a protest, we do have protest forms available at my table. Um, you need to fill out the information that's requested on there, and it needs to be turned in by the end of, actually by the beginning of the next round, because the judges will need to hear the evidence to back over and make their decision before we move on to the next round. So thank you for being here. A couple more logistical things. At the end of each round, the students who missed their, their words will exit the stage. Uh, students, we would like you to exit the stage with this, the stairs, and please be very careful because those stairs are very steep, as you saw when you came up, uh, they're, they're steep, so just be careful. Uh, when I judge, it's about halfway through the bee, we'll have a bathroom break. Um, it got bottles of water under there, uh, and we found that that's the, the kind thing to do. Uh, <laughs> but we do want to keep the be moving along uh, uh, smoothly because we recognize that you are busy families and you have other things to do today. Um, finally, I want to show you the Spelling Bee Trophy. Good as the Spelling Bee Trophy too. Uh, as part of our Aspirations 2015 strategic plan, it was decided that we needed to do things in Fauquier County to recognize academic achievement to the same level that we recognize athletic achievement. 
Uh, and so, as a, a former teacher at Liberty High School, I was real familiar with what the Bird Bowl Cup looked like uh, for the football uh, playoff. And I wanted to get something of similar quality. So we got this a few years ago. This is a perpetual trophy. Uh, and on the side, the, today's winner, the year, the name of the student, and the name of that student's school will be engraved here on the side. And this trophy will reside uh, at that student's school for a year until uh, next year's spelling bee. So uh, it, we have wonderful spellers here. We have uh, nearly 50 wonderful spellers, all of whom are winners. Unfortunately, it comes down to uh, one student who will be the champion, but that student's name will be engraved on this, this trophy. And uh, at the end of the week, uh, certainly the families can photograph the winner of the trophy. Nicholas, N I C H O L A S, Nicholas. Will, W I L L, Will. Teddy, T E D D Y, Teddy. Lucas, L U C A S. Lucas. Claire. C L A I R E. Claire.
Dominic. D O M E N I C Dominic.
Kendra, K-E-N-D-R-A, Kendra. And those are 2014 spellers. We ask that you don't react to the spelling or the misspelling of the words during the round, but we will have applause at the end of each round so that we can recognize the achievements of these fabulous spellers. Also, uh, when uh, you exit uh, spellers, there is a hospitality room down the hall. It's marked by um, a music stand and a sign. And there are some really, really wonderful cupcakes that were donated to the Spelling Bee by uh, the bakery at Harris Teeter. Uh, and you will, uh, you'll certainly want to have a cupcake. Uh, they're, 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 they look delicious, and they're certainly very, very good-looking cupcakes. And little bees on them. They're really cute. Uh, at that point, uh, the students will receive all, all spellers will receive a participation, a participation certificate, and we ask at that time that the student give us back the, um, the lanyard because we're into recycling, but you are welcome to take the, the card with your, um, your speller's name on it for your souvenirs, okay? You ready? Say that it's not a requirement in the rules that the student speller repeat the word after me. Um, so no one's disqualified if they don't repeat the word, but it's just good practice. So you might repeat it so that I know that you understood what I said. Your word is bric a brac. Bric a brac. Bric a brac. B R I C K. A B R A C K. Brick I'm sorry, the correct spelling is B R I C dash A dash B R A C. Um, there's no K. It, it, in a word that has hyphens or um, capitals, it's not necessary for the student to uh, indicate spaces or capitalization. Just to say the letters in the correct way. Your word is famished. 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 F A M I S H E D. Famished. That is correct. Your word is lucrative. 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 L U C. R A T I V E, lucrative? That is correct. Your word is regnal. 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 R E G N A L. Regnal? That is correct. Your word is diadem. 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 D I A D E M. Diadem. That is correct. Your word is aura. 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 A R A. Aura. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is A U R A. Your word is travesty. T-R-A-B-E-S-T-Y, travesty. That is correct. Your word is winnow, winnow. Winnow, W-I-N-N-O-W, winnow. Correct. Your word is corduroy, corduroy. Corduroy. C. O U 
R D U R O Y Corduroy. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is C O R D U R O Y. Your word is emblazoned. Emblazoned. E M B L A Z E N E D. Emblazoned. I'm sorry, it's E M B L A Z O N E D. Emblazoned. Your word is photogenic. Photogenic. Can you repeat the word? Photogenic. Photogenic. P H O T O G E N I C. Photogenic. That is correct. Your word is imperious, imperious. Imperious. I M P E R I O U S, imperious. That is correct. Your word is mammalian. Your word is adroitly, adroitly. Adroitly. A D R O I N T L Y. Adroitly. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is A D R O I T L Y. <clears throat> Your word is tangible, tangible. Tangible, T-A-N-G-E. May I please start over? You may start over, but you're not allowed to change any of the letters that I've already said. T-A-N-G-E-L-E. Tangible. I'm sorry, it's T-A-N-G-I-E-L-E. Your word is derivative, 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 D-E-R-I-V-A-T-I-V-E, -E. derivative. That is correct. Your word is acrylics. 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 A C R Y L I C S. Acrylics. That is correct. Your word is leonine. 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 L E A N I N E. Sorry, it's L E O N I N. Your word is rejuvenate. 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 R E J U V E N A T E. Rejuvenate. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. 
The word is torsion. It is a noun, and it is um, it means the act of turning or twisting, the state of being twisted. Torsion. Torsion. T O R T I O N. Torsion. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is T O R S I O N. Your word is also a near homonym, so I'm going to give you the definition so that you're certain that you understand which word I'm saying. The word is dawdle. It is um, a verb, and it means to spend more time than is necessary or usual in doing something, to loiter. Dawdle. Dawdle. D-A-W-D-L-E. Dawdle. That is correct. Your word is vice versa. Vice, vice versa. V i c e v e r s a. Vice versa. That is correct. Your word could also be con uh, confused with a similar word, so I'm going to give you the uh, the definition. Make sure that you understand the word. Okay. The word is malaise. It is uh, a noun, and it means an indefinite feeling of generalized lack of health, often indicative of or accompanying the onset of an illness. Malaise. Malaise. M A L A I S E. Malaise. That is correct. Your word has two correct spellings. I will accept either one. Okay? So the word is mustache. Mustache. Okay, mustache. M U S T A S. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll. <laughs> Congressional. 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 C O N G R E N S H. A N A L. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is C O N G R E S S I O N A L. Your word is omnibus. 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 O M N I B U S. Omnibus. That is correct. Your word is sedentary. Sedentary. Can you give me a definition, please? Sure. Uh, sedentary is an adjective and it means characterized by or requiring sitting. <laughs> or slight activity. Sedentary. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Heidi accused Adrian of being a couch potato, but he preferred to say he had a sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary. Sedentary. S-E-D-A-N-T-A-R-Y. Sedentary. I'm sorry, it's S-E-D-E-N-T-A-R-Y. Your word is dodecahedron. Dodecahedron. Can you say that again? I can. Dodecahedron. 
D O D E C H E D R O N. I'm sorry, it's D O D E C A H E D R O N. Your word is gustatory or gustatory. Can you give me the definition, please? I can. It's an adjective and it means of, relating to, affecting, affecting or associated with the sense of taste. Gustatory or gustatory. Gustatory, G-U-S-T-A-T-O-R-Y. That is correct. Your word could be confused with a, a near homonym, so I'm going to give you all the information to make sure you understand the word I'm saying. The word is a pellet. A pellet. Uh, it is an adjective and it means having the power to review and affirm, reverse, or modify the judgment or decision of another tribunal. A pellet. A pellet. A P P E L L A T E. That is correct. Okay, this word has a, a near homonym, and I want to give you all the information, okay? The word is ombudsman. 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 Wait, don't, don't go yet. It is a noun, and it means a government official appointed to receive and investigate complaints made by individuals against abuses or capricious acts of public officials. A government official. Ombudsman. Ombudsman. O M B U D S M A N. Ombudsman. Correct. Your word is porosity. 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 P O R O S I T Y. Porosity. Correct. Your word is perceived. 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 P E R C I E V E D. Perceived. I'm sorry, it's P E R C E I V E D. Your word is Herculean. Herculean. H E R C U L E A N. Herculean. That is correct. Your word is complacency. Com complacency. C O M. Your word is elegiac. 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 E L E G I A C. Elegiac. Correct.
Your work has a near homonym, so I'm going to give you all the definitions. I want you to make sure that you understand the word I'm saying. The word is repelled. Repelled is a verb, and it means descended a precipitous cliff by the means of a rope. Repelled. Repelled. R O E B E L D. I'm sorry, this correct spelling is R A P P E L L E D. Your word is gluttonous. 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 G-L-U-T-T-O-N-O-U-S. Correct. <coughs> Your word is anticipatory. 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 A N T I C I P A T O R Y. Anticipatory. Correct. Your word is illustrious. 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 I L L U S T R I O U S. Please don't flash. Please don't flash. It's flashing at me. Your word is petroglyph. 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 P E T R O G L Y P H. Petroglyph. I'm not sure I said the S on that, so that word, that's correct. Your word is schism. 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 S C I S M. Schism. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is S C H I S M. Your word is Pavlovian. 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 P A V L O V I A N. Correct. <coughs> Your word is circumstantial. 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 C I R C U M S T A N T I A L. Circumstantial. That is correct. word could be confused, so I'm going to give you all of the information before you begin to spell. Okay. The word is importunate. Importunate. It is an adjective. It means troublesomely urgent, overly persistent in request or demand. Importunate. Importunate. I am E O R T U N A T E. Unfortunate. That is correct. <laughs> Your 
your word is lingua franca. Lingua franca. Lingua franca. L I N G U A F R A N C A. Lingua franca. That is correct. And that is the end of the first round.
Why? That is correct. Your word is quorum. Quorum.
and typically and uh, typically with a happy ending. I'll say that again. An actress who plays in dramas of light and amusing character, and typically with a happy ending. Comedian. C O N. I D I A N comedian. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is C O M E D I E N N E comedian. Your word is anthropomorphic. 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 A N T H R O P O M O R P H I C anthropomorphic. That is correct. <coughs> Your word could be confused with a similar word, so I'm going to give you the pronunciation and the definition. The word is follicle. Follicle. Follicle is a noun. It means a small cavity or deep, narrow mouthed depression. A follicle. 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 F O L I C O E. I'm sorry, it is, the correct spelling is F O L L I C L E. Follicle. Your word is pyrotechnics. Pyrotechnics. P pyrotechnics. P Y R O T E C H N I C S. Correct. Your word is also a near homonym, so I'm going to give you the, the pronunciation and the definition before you begin. The word is aphasia. Aphasia. Uh, it is a noun. It means the loss or impairment of the power to use words as symbols of ideas that results from a brain lesion. Aphasia. Can you repeat the word? Aphasia. Aphasia. A F A F I A aphasia. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is A P H A S I A. Okay, your word is velociraptor. 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 V E L O C I R A P T O R. Velociraptor. That is correct. Your word is scintillation. 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 S C I N T I L L A T I O N. Scintillation. That is correct. <laughs> This word could be confused with a similar word, so I will provide you with the definition. The word is wildebeest. Wildebeest. It is a noun. Any of several rather large but compact African antelopes having a large head like that of an ox, short mane, long and flowing tail, and horns. Wildebeest. Wildebeest. W I L D E B E. E E S T Wildebeest. That is correct. Your word is suasion. 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 S W A S I O N. 
I'm sorry, the correct spelling is S-U-A-S-I-O-N. Your word is hoi polloi. Hoi polloi. Definition? Uh, hoi polloi is a plural noun. It means ordinary people, the general populace, multitude, or masses. Hoi polloi. Origin? It comes to us from the Greek. Hoi polloi. H O I P L O Y. I'm sorry, it's H O I P O L L O I. Your word has two pronunciations, and I'm going to give you both of them before you start. Epizootic or epizootic. 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 Or epizootic. Can you do this in Great measures were put into place to ensure that the epizootic foot and mouth disease does not enter the United States. Your word has two correct spellings. You can give me either one of them. Okay? The word is pronounced accoutrement or accoutrement. Accoutrement. 
A C C O U T R E N E N T. That is correct. Tempted to say may we. Your word is prattle. Prattle. Repeat the word, please. Prattle. Prattle. P R A D D L E. Prattle. I'm sorry, it's P R A T T L E. Prattle. Your word is bequeath. Bequeath. E E E Q U E T H bequeath. I'm sorry, it's B E Q U E A T H. Your word is renegade. Renegade. Can you please repeat it? Yes. Renegade. R E N A G A D E. I'm sorry, it's R E N E G A D E, renegade. Your word has a near homonym, so I'm going to repeat the, pronounce the word and give you the definition. The word is ductal. Ductal. Um, it is an adjective. Ductal means capable of being permanently drawn out without breaking. Specifically, capable of being drawn out into a wire or thread. Ductal. Ductal. D-U-C-T-I-L-E. Ductal. That is correct. Your word is matinee. Matinee. Can you give me the definition? Yes. Matinee is a noun. It means a performance of a production, such as a play, opera, or film, or the presentation of a concert, or sometimes the holding of some other event in the afternoon, or occasionally in the morning, or at midnight. Matinee. Matinee. M A T E N E. Matinee. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is M-A-T-I-N-E-E. -E. Your word is gristle. Gristle? Gristle. Uh, definition? Gristle is a noun and it means tough cartilag cartilaginous tendonitis, te no, tendinous or fibrous matter, especially in table meat. Gristle. Sentence, please. Pat complained to the cook that his steak had gristle attached. Gristle. G-R-I-S-T-L-E. Gristle. That is correct. 
Your word is cognition. 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 C O G N I T I O N. Cognition. That is correct. Cognition. Your word is fiasco. 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 F I A S C O. Fiasco. That is correct. Your word is cantata. 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 C A N T A T A. Cantata. That is correct. Your word is fandango. Fandango. F A N D A N G O. Fandango. That is correct. Your word could be confused with a similar word, so I'm going to pronounce it, and then I'm going to give you the definition, okay? The word is gazelle. Gazelle is a noun. It is any of numerous small, graceful, and swift African and Asian antelopes noted for the luster and soft expression of their eyes. Gazelle. Gazelle. G-A-Z-E-L-L-E. Gazelle. That is correct. Your word is yieldable. Yieldable. Can I have a definition, please? Yes. Yieldable is an adjective and it means capable of giving way under physical force so as to bend, stretch, or break. Yieldable. Yieldable. Y E I L D I B L E. Yieldable. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is Y-I-E-L-D, A-D-L-D, yieldable. Your word could be confused with a similar word. I'm going to pronounce it and give you the definition. The word is autobahn, autobahn. It's a noun, and it means a road in Germany with double traffic lanes in each direction separated by a parkway, autobahn. Can you please repeat the word? Autobahn. Autobahn. A U T O B O N. Autobahn. I'm sorry, it's A U T O B A H N. Autobahn. Your word is boutique. Boutique. May I have a definition? Yes. Boutique is a noun. It's a small retail store, especially a specialty shop dealing in ladies' fashionable ready-to-wear clothes and accessories. Boutique. I have the origin. It is from a Greek word that went into probably Pro Provençal and then French. Boutique. Boutique, B O U T I Q U E. Boutique. That is correct. And that's the end of the round. involved the uh, fact that two students did not come up in exactly the same order as they started with, so we're going to call those two students back. We're going to do a runoff between those two students with two different words for the same round.
Right. right. They, they were, it was, uh, we, were, we placed them incorrectly. So, it's that. Where's the other student? Kendra Walker. I'm sorry? Okay. I think the Mary Walter people left thinking that you guys had purposely put her in a different place. One student came in late and, and then we we actually corrected the order. I need to make it clear that that these words that are in the book. I can skip any of them, and we do skip around. So there is an automatic randomness in this. It's not necessarily a prescribed word uh, order that because you've got this number, you're definitely going to get this word. You never know how many kids are going to come out at the end of the round. So there is uh, an ongoing randomness throughout the day. So the other young lady, okay. Fletcherism. Fletcherism. Fletcherism is a noun, and it's the practice of eating in small amounts and only when hungry, and of chewing one's food thoroughly. Fletcherism. Several well-known people of the early 20th century such as Henry James and John D. Rockefeller, practiced Fletcherism in an effort to maintain their health. Fletcherism. Language of origin. First part of this word is from an American name, and the second part is an English combining form. Fletcherism. Fletcherism. M L E. E-C-H-E-R-I-S-M. Your word is plateau. 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 P-L-A-T-E-A-U. Plateau. Okay, that is correct. Okay, so that one is the end of round three and we're on to round four. <laughs> Your word is odori. Odori. Could I have the definition, please? Yes, odori is a noun. It is any lively Japanese folk or theater dance characterized by rapid footwork, odori. Odori. O-D-O-U-R-I. Odori. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is O-D-O-R-I. Your word is spaghetti. Spaghetti. S-P-A-G-H-E-T-T-I, spaghetti. That is correct. Your word is pangolin. Pangolin. Can you say that again? Pangolin. Pangolin? Pangolin. Pangolin. P A. N G A 
L. I N. I'm sorry, it's P A N G O L I N. Your word is green gauge. Green gauge. Green gauge? Green gauge. G R E G A U G E Green Gauge. I'm sorry, it's G R E E N G A G E. Your word is luau. Luau is a noun. It is a feast with Hawaiian food and usually Hawaiian entertainment. Luau. Luau. L. A-L. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is L-U-A-U. Your word is Wagnerian. Wagnerian. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. Wagnerian is an adjective. It means belonging to, characteristic of, or suggestive of the operas of the German composer Richard Wagner. Um, what was the um, what was the language of, of origin? Okay, this is a German. It comes from a German name. Okay. What was the word again? Wagnerian. Wagnerian. V o g n e r i a n. Wagnerian. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is W-A-G-N-E-R-I-A-N. Your word is oolong. 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 O O L O N G. Oolong. That is correct. Your word is sallow. Sallow. Can I 
the definition, please? Yes, sallow is an adjective, means of a grayish, greenish, yellow color, suggesting sickliness, usually used of the skin or complexion. Sallow. Sallow. S A L L O W. Sallow. That is correct. Okay. That's the end of that one. Okay, your word is abdicate. 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 A B D I C A T E. Abdicate. That is correct. Your word is fennel. 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 Definition, please. Uh, fennel is a perennial European herb, not native to North America, and cultivated for the aromatic flavor of its seeds. Fennel. The word is harpsichord. 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 H A R P. S-I-C-H-O-R-D, P-S-I. Your word is amnesia, amnesia. Amnesia, A-M-N. E-S-I-A, amnesia. That is correct. And that is the end of your word is elixir. 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 E L I X I R. Elixir. Tantalize. Tantalize. Can I have a definition, please? Yes. Tantalize is a verb meaning to tease or to torment by presenting something to the view and exciting desire, but continually frustrating the expectations by keeping it out of reach. Tantalize. Tantalize. T A N T. A L I Z E tantalize. Correct. Okay. Your word is arsenal. Arsenal. A R S E N A L. Arsenal. Mongrel. Mongrel. Can I have definition, please? Mongrel is a noun, means an animal or plant resulting from the interbreeding of two or more breeds or strains. Mongrel. 
mongrel. M O N G R O L mongrel. Sorry, that word is spelled M O N G R E L. Okay, this is the anticipated championship word. This word could be confused with a similar word. I will pronounce it and give you the definition. The word is virtuoso. It is a noun. It means one who excels in the technique of an art, especially a musical performer. Virtuoso. Virtuoso. V-I-R-T-U-O-S-O. -O. Virtuoso. That is correct. Both our first place speller, our champion speller, and Second place speller will advance to the regional spelling bee sponsored by the Fredericksburg Freelance Star and held in March. So each of the final two spellers will receive a dictionary uh, and um, will have Kira's name and grade on the championship trophy. Congratulations.